hey guys what's good welcome to this tutorial that is teaching you how to create the nft character generator completely in geometry nodes before we get started i want to let you know that you can download the final project file of this tutorial and all the other tutorials on my patreon as you can see this is the way the generator works and because it works by frame i can simply render a thousand frame animation to generate 1000 nfts let's talk about what we need to organize this generator First of first, you need to have a character with its attributes, which are basically the eye, the glasses, the body, the hair, etc. You might have modeled it by yourself or you can even download one. For example, let's take a look at my character. I modeled the character and I rigged it to fold its hand. I added some shape keys and I made the mouth on the shape keys. After that, I modeled the eye and the glasses. And because I'd use them as one object as an item of my NFT character, I had to join every object together. Here is our first question. How can we join several objects together? And the answer is easy. First of all, you must make sure that there is no modifiers on your objects. Because for example, if you have a mirror modifier on one of your objects and you join all the other objects with it, the mirror modifier will apply on every object you joined. You can keep a subdivision surface modifier if you have that on every object or at least most of the objects, but if you don't, just apply it. You can apply your modifiers by going to the modifier properties, click on this arrow and apply them in row from top to bottom. After you got done with editing each item and you applied the modifiers, select all the objects and press Ctrl J to join them. I know I somehow marginalized the tutorial, but if you want to do this, you need to adjust its setting. So please be patient and we'll be creating our generator in 20 seconds. Now I have these eyes with different appearance and each of them is one object. The next step is to apply their location. Basically, I want the origin point of them to be at center. It's easy to do that. I just select all of them and I press Ctrl A and I choose location. As you can see, the origin point of each item is at the center now. We are prepared to create the NFT generator now, but pay attention that you have to do all the steps I said for each attribute you have, like bodies, hairs, etc. It's time to organize our items. Basically, every attribute of a particular type should be in one collection. For example, I have these three clothes, I select them and I hit M to move them in a new collection, and I name it clothes. You can access to your collections from the outliner. From this clothes collection, I can determine the rarity of each item. For example, I want the normal shirt to be common, so I duplicate it to increase the amount of that and therefore we are going to see it in our NFTs more often. After I classified all the attributes as collections, I go to the geometry nodes workspace and I add a plane in the 3D viewport. After that I go to the edit mode and I select everything then I hit M to merge every vertices at center. This empty item is our NFT generator so I rename it in the outliner. I hit on this new button to create a new geometry node setup. But before we get to work with the nodes, go to the edit menu, preferences, add-ons and turn on the node wrangler add-on. Then close this window and in the geometry node editor go ahead and delete the group input node. Press shift A to add a new node and search for a points node. Then add it and connect the geometry to the geometry of the group output node. As you can see, this point is at center and this is the reason why we applied the origin point of our items to the center. After this points node, I add an instance on points node and I'm going to use my collections as instances. I drag and drop one of my collections from the outliner to the geometry nodes editor and I connect it to the instance input. As a consequence, you can see it shows all the objects in the collection, so we should check the separate children and the pick instance box. Now it's showing the first item in our collection, which has an index of 0. I add an integer node by pressing Shift A and I connect it to the instance index. Now we can change this integer value to change the items index and see the other objects in our collection. Now I must do the same for all the collections. I can select the instance on points node and I press Ctrl H to hide the inputs that they aren't used right now. You can press Ctrl H again to unhide them. After that I press Ctrl Shift D to duplicate the node and keep the connections. 
Then I drag and drop another collection to the geometry node editor and after I check the separate children box, I connect the geometry output to the instance input of the new instance on points node. I do this again and again for all the collections. After I repeated the action for every collections, I added a join geometry node and I join every instance on points node together. Now I can easily change the integer value to change my character's attributes, but there is one more important thing left. I hold shift then I right click and drag on these noodles to create a single input. I press shift A then I add a random value node and I change its type from float to integer and I enter a high number like 1000 for the max value and I connect it to the input. And you can generate your NFT characters this easy by just playing with the seed output of the random value node. At last I'm going to add a scene time node and I connect the frame input to the seed to generate my NFTs by frame. That's it guys, we are done with creating the NFT generator and the next step is lighting. And after that you can determine a range for your NFTs by going to the output properties and customize the frame range. The frame start should be 1 and the end value is how many NFTs you want. At the end choose a folder to render your NFTs there and click on render menu and choose render animation. After a while you will see that photos are rendering and appearing in the folder you chose. And it takes time as long as your NFTs amount, so be patient if you want like 1000. I hope you got something useful from this tutorial and if it's true please subscribe my channel and like this video so YouTube introduces it to more people and they can watch it as well. And at last I wanna give a shout out to my Patreons and I want to say thank you for your support, I do appreciate it and it helps me to create more high quality content. Thanks for watching and goodbye.